Hello there and welcome to Namident Academy. Today I'm going to discuss how to use artificial intelligence or software to get or to predict a possible journal house for your publication. And I welcome you to join me in this demonstration. In my previous video, I discussed about how to manually, uh, how to find a place for your publication using literature uh, reference in your article or your manuscript. And today, I'm going to continue with that uh, part of the video. If you have not seen that video, you can check the link below or top there. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel so that you can continue to see my future videos. What I would like to do is a demonstration of how to find a, a place for publication. And I have on my desktop a uh, manuscript that I prepared since last year. It's still sitting on my desktop and I've not yet submitted. I'm thinking of possibly updating it. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I am going to use this manuscript for demonstration. And I will go through the manuscript as you can see on your screen. Okay, so now I'm going to handle or use different software or website to try to predict a possible place for my publication. And that what I will do in this is that. There are different softwares or the websites with artificial intelligence that project different uh, journal houses. Some are by companies or journal companies and some are for organization. And because of that, it is possible that those software are biased in a way towards the uh, company or the organization that might uh, I've created the artificial intelligence algorithm. So what I will do in this video is that I'm going to take the first five of all the uh, uh, software projections so we can discuss uh, how you can use this software to make a correct decision in a place to publish your work. So, first I'm going to uh, work on Web of Science. Web of Science is a subscription-based uh, software. If your institution or your company or university have access to it, then you can uh, have access to it. If not, you can have access to this. And uh, what I should I will also add is all the softwares or what I will call the website that I will use in this uh, discussion or demonstration. I will place them. You can find them under the des so, uh, description uh, section of this video. So this is the address of Web of Science. Yeah. Uh, then what I will go to what I will do I will go to Match Manuscript. When I click on Match Manuscript, I will then come and take my abstract uh, title. Now I put the app title inside. Then I, I will uh, come and take the abstract here. This is my abstract. Then I'll place my abstract inside. After that, I'm clicking on find journal. So it takes some time, and now it has given me uh, some uh, suggestion. Journal of Applied Geophysics, 
and then it gives you the match percentage here the type of the journal the uh, this is the publisher and then there's index this is citation index expanded and then if you want you can check the profile of the journal here and then the second one it give me environmental at uh, science then uh, i e e e transaction on joe science and uh, uh remote sensing as you can see as it go down the match score keep on decreasing as you can see apply science basil uh, and this is the thing so now and also if you look at here it will tell you whether it's a subscription is open open when there is nothing written it means that it's a subscription based journal so now we can see a journal of geophysics and engineering and then geophysics uh, okay from SEG then geophysical prospecting so that's it for the uh, it's very good when we see the first 10 here is exactly uh, the journal that is within the scope of this paper okay so now I'm going to the second uh, part, second soft uh, website. So this is the second website I'm going to use the Winley uh, Journal Finder. It's a beta software, which means it's still under construction. And again, I'm going to place my abstract and going to copy my title then I'm going to search and you see here it gives me water resource research which has optional open access and it's saying relevant and impact factor so second one uh, near surface geophysics and first so what I realized here is that this uh, really is giving me suggestion from their own journals the publisher is recommending from their own journal or oh, uh, so does it as you may know uh, the web of science they don't have journal like that so that's what you can see all they are relevant to my research too. Okay, so now we move to the third uh, website. Now we are in the third website, which is the Science Gate. And I'm putting the abstract, uh, the title. Then I copy the abstract here. Then I'll go to next. So here, what it does is it extracted major keywords from the manuscript, and then it gave me some suggestion, but I'm going with the default. So search for manuscript. And it will be giving me manuscript from uh, different publishers, water from MDPI and uh, Institute of Physics uh, soft, uh, conference series applied physics and then it gave me even to fiscal prospecting from Winley then so you can see how different softwares giving different things based on different the same abstract and the same title so now I'm going to the next uh, software here. Uh, it's called the journal suggester. It's only interested in the abstract. So I've placed the abstract and I click on this. So now this is what it gives me. So exploration geophysics and then NR 
IAG Journal of Astrology and Geophysics. So as you can see, giving me different different stuff. So let's continue. Now going to journal guide. So with the journal guide, I put the uh, abstract. And now I have the title. So in the section, okay, it also have exploration geophysics at the first one, uh, followed by archaeological prospecting, environmental science and pollution. Or what you need to know about the manuscript, as uh, I should you understand, it is the use of uh, geophysical method in uh, studying use engine oil contamination of soil and groundwater. So uh, with this in mind, you can see the suggestion that those various uh, websites are giving me, and this one also give from different publishers. And then in some, it match two or match one. And then this is the score. As you see, it goes down. And here was giving it gave me twenty one suggestions. Uh, another uh, software, uh, what would, it would M D P I publisher, and let me put the into the, the title. And then I'm going to put the. Abstract for here, there is interesting. It asks you, Do you want it uh, from impact factor or without impact factor? I want both. And it asks you some other stuff. Which uh, web of science citation do you want? Suppose that I am, I want to, uh, during my PhD, I was uh, requested to uh, get a citation index, this, this one. So I'll click that, but now I don't need that. So now what I'll do is I just search. So now it has given me the each suggestion and uh, typically it's coming from the uh, the, art, the journals published by the publisher MDPI, you can see. Geoscience Remote Sensing uh, uh, Sensor, and this is the ranking with a day, uh, estimated date for decision making from the first day of submission. So this is what it gives. So now I'm going to other software, other uh, this thing, uh, Charles Worth Outer Service, and for here I'm going to put both the title and the abstract inside the box. And now let me try to find the journal. So with the uh, Charles Worth Arthur service, it gives us Journal of Applied Geophysics Archaeological Perspective uh, and sensor, so on and so forth, as we can see. Now, we are going to the last uh, uh, website available for such thing. And now I put the uh, introduction or the title here, and this one is a, a question for keywords. So I now take the keywords here. So now it's asking for uh, uh, which area. Okay, so my work is in engineering and also it's in sciences. 
So we're going to look at it in physical science. Or let's say, let me write. So as you can see, this is the suggestion it gave me. And this has nothing to do with my work. Okay. At least I forget one of the trusted uh, journal uh, uh, estimator or journal uh, name or other estimator is what we call Jane. And here, what I'll do is uh, to put the abstract and the introduction, uh, abstract and the title inside, I'll click on this article. But this also has another, uh, before I do that, this has another purpose where you can search for artists. Uh, maybe you have a manuscript that you want a possible co uh, collaboration with some people. Uh, so you can just look at it and you can find uh, this kind of thing. And you can click on the uh, uh, article to see what they have published before or you can even find articles uh, which are related to your work in order to really upgrade your work if the need arise. So for the purpose of our discussion today, I'm clicking on find uh, journals. And as you can see, they have been giving us some names of journals with the article uh, influence, the way to find. So this uh, one of the also a software that we use to predict uh, journals in where to publish. So so now we are been able to find the different uh, softwares that can be used to uh, suggest a possible journal house for your publication. And now what the next work we are going to do is uh, going to pick individual softwares or the website with the recommended uh, journal houses and we compare them. Okay, all the work I've done uh, in order to be able to select one appropriate article or journal or to create, let's say, my publishing list, publication list or publishers list for my future journals. So what I can do is now I have a web of science, mainly uh, ScienceGate, Taylor and Francis, Journal Guide, MP, NDPI, Charles Wilt, and uh, Sage and Gen. And I hope also there are other so, uh, programs or websites that does the same work, but mostly these are the popular ones, you understand? And you can see they all predict good. For example, Web of Science predicted very excellent work. The Winley also predicted very good, but this uh, place, the third one, should have replaced, should be replaced, you understand? And when I go to the fourth, uh, the science gate, I'm looking for journals, not for conference proceedings here. And this one and this one are conference proceedings. So it's also disadvantage to it. And when you look again with Willy, it's giving you much of the software uh, the journal from their own uh, journal houses. So generally speaking, as you can see, with other, uh, if the uh, predictor or suggester is a company base, the algorithm, the data fed uh, to the algorithm or the artificial intelligence is biased towards the company. So you should put that one in mind. And generally, this is what it, give, it gives me. If I can compare from here, I can be able to select the best possible uh, journal to publish my work 
as I said, my work is about geophysics, about environmental contamination, about groundwater, and about soil. So when you look at this suggestion, you can see that, generally speaking, uh, aside only this search, the um, artificial intelligence algorithm is still under development because it totally gave me something outside the scope of my work. Uh, and I understand that the algorithm is still under uh, construction or they are still training the algorithm. Aside that, generally speaking, this kind of software can help you to be able to find a journal house for your publication. So if that's said and done, thank you very much for your time and attention. And I hope you enjoy this demonstration. And I, so I hope to see you next time. If you have not subscribed or uh, to this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel so that you can see my future videos. Goodbye.